Okay, let's talk about agomelatine, the melatonin-based antidepressant that is supposedly one of the most effective and tolerable antidepressants. In fact, it's one of the only antidepressants to be more tolerable than placebo, but more on that in a bit. Anyways, as you could probably tell, agomelatine is a very unique antidepressant. It functions as a highly selective agonist of the melatonin 1 and melatonin 2 receptors, which no antidepressant previously has ever targeted. It's also called a 5-HT2C receptor antagonist, which effectively disinhibits the release of dopamine and norepinephrine in the prefrontal cortex. And yeah, while there is preclinical evidence to show that agomelatine does act at this receptor, I don't actually think this is clinically significant for a variety of reasons. Its affinity for this receptor is a thousandfold less than it is for melatonin receptors. And while other 5-HT2C receptor antagonists are known to increase deep sleep in human beings immediately after dosing, agomelatine doesn't do this until two weeks of consistent dosing. Okay, but one thing it really does do is hit the melatonin receptors. Melatonin itself has an antidepressant action, and I would really love to see a head-to-head -head trial between agomelatine and melatonin. But going off the data that we do have, agomelatine has a longer half-life, and like melatonin, it's capable of shifting the circadian rhythm and normalizing sleep patterns, which I personally think has a lot to do with its therapeutic effects. It's kind of a revolutionary finding, because the theory that we can improve depression by improving sleep has always fallen flat on its face. Z drugs like Ambien actually increase the risk of depression, and don't even get me started on benzodiazepines. So yeah, seeing an antidepressant that so directly works on sleep is really cool. Although it should be noted that all antidepressants in influence sleep architecture. It's debated to be a key mediator of the antidepressant effects. Okay, now let's go back to that whole clinical efficacy and tolerability thing. So yeah, it seems that agomelatine is extremely tolerable. According to a really good Lancet review, it's one of two antidepressants to be more tolerable than placebo. However, here's where I cast a lot of doubt. It's supposed to be one of the most effective antidepressants, although it's within striking distance of the efficacy of other antidepressants. Now there's this thing in drug research called the new drug effect, where for whatever reason, new drugs seem to do really well. Much better than they do when they're tested 20 years later, not on patent. So yeah, make of that what you will. Oh, and like every seemingly promising drug, it causes elevations in liver enzymes in about 4% of patients, and therefore requires periodic blood tests. Anyways, I still think it's a really cool drug. From a personal standpoint, I have an obsession with circadian rhythm, but also it's really cool to see new generation antidepressants not cause erectile dysfunction more than they treat depression. Stay safe and do your research. Bye.